Ah, cried her little daughter, who was very spoiled and very headstrong, but you shall not touch her. She shall give me her gloves and her pretty frock. She shall play with me and sleep in my room. The little robber maiden was as tall as Gerda, but stronger and broad-shouldered. Her eyes were quite black. They looked almost sad. She threw her arms around Gerda and said, They shall not hurt you as long as I am not displeased with you. You are a princess, aren't you? No, said little Gerda, and she then told all that had happened to her and how much she loved her little Kay. The robber maiden looked at her with a serious air and nodded her head slightly. Then she dried Gerda's eyes and put both her hands in the handsome gloves, which were so soft and warm. If you are naughty, said she, no one else shall kill you. I'll do it myself. Then she led Gerda off to the courtyard of the robber's castle. It was full of cracks from top to bottom, and out of the holes ravens and crows were flying. You shall sleep with me tonight with all my animals, said the little robber maiden. They had something to eat and drink, then went into a corner where straw and carpets were laying. Beside them, on lathes and perches, sat nearly a hundred pigeons. And here is my dear old Bach. She dragged out by the horns a reindeer that was tied up there. We are obliged to lock this fellow in, or he would make his escape. Do you intend to keep your knife while you sleep? asked Gerda, looking sideways at the knife. I always sleep with the knife, said the little robber maiden. There is no knowing what may happen. But tell me once more all about little Kay, and why you have started off into the wide world alone. So Gerda related all from the very beginning. Then the little robber maiden wound her arm around Gerda's neck, held the knife in the other hand, and began to snore so loudly that everyone could hear her. Then the wood, wood pigeon said, Coo, coo, we have seen little Kay. A white bird carried his sledge. He sat by the side of the Snow Queen. They floated low down over the trees as we lay in our nest. Coo, coo. Where did the Snow Queen go? cried Gerda. Do you know anything about it? She is no doubt gone to Finland, where there is always snow and ice. Ask the reindeer who is tied up here. Aye, ice and snow indeed. There it is glorious and beautiful, said the reindeer. You can run and jump about as you like on those big glittering plains. The Snow Queen has her summer tent there, but her fixed home is high up towards the North Pole on the island called Spitsbergen. Oh, Kay, poor little Kay, sighed Gerda. In the morning, Gerda told her all about wood, what the wood pigeons had said. Do you know where Finland is? asked she of the reindeer. Who else should know better than I? said the reindeer with sparkling eyes. I was born and bred there on the snowfields. Listen, said the robber girl to Gerda. You see that all the robbers are gone. Only my mother is left, and she will soon fall asleep. Then I shall do something for you. When the robber woman was having a nap, the little robber maiden went to the reindeer and said, I will untie you so that you may go to Finland, but you must go quickly and take this little girl to the Snow Queen where her playfellow is.